Celebrity, true or false? You can't handle the truth. A huge fan of yours and the show Oz. I mean, on the opposite Ah. end of what one would call the Ghostbuster spectrum (laughs) um, and Fantasy Island, things like that. True or false, you shot the first season of Oz in Manhattan at an old Oreo cookie factory. Is that true or false? It might have been a factory, an Oreo cookie factory. I didn't, I was never told that. Okay. We shot it in New York and in Chelsea. Okay. The first four seasons, I think, we shot it in New York. Okay. Um, so you just never strolled into Gen Pop and saw some double stuff in the corner or something like no. that? <laughs> okay. No, they, um, I think they, we, we, we had that place and um, they only rented, I think Oprah Winfrey for her production came and bought it and we got kicked out. So, which is why we had to go to New Jersey, but <sighs> that's another story. But at Oreo Cookie Factory, I'm not sure it might've been. What a show. What an unbelievable, gritty, totally... Um, I guess what gritty gripping, but it, it, I felt like I went through the ringer after uh, 60 that, minutes um, of that program. Well, honestly, I couldn't watch the show at its time. We'll come on like at 10 o'clock at night. Right. And even being in the show, I'm like, I can't look at this and lay down. I mean, honestly, I'm You're uh, right. I mean, like it's time to go to bed yeah, after that. Like yeah, no, no way. Yeah, no, I, right. um, but it was a blessing and it was a, a wonderful cast. They're all for the most part working and, have gone on, have great careers, and I just feel so honored and blessed to have been part of Tom Fontana, the uh, creator. With Barry Levinson. With Barry Levinson. But um, Tom did uh, St. Elsewhere, uh, and I did a half season. uh, Denzel Washington was my doctor, and so I met Tom on that, and when Oz came up, he called and said... uh, Is that right? So so the connective tissue of your career, you doing St. Elsewhere... Yeah. When that happened, he's like, okay, Ernie Hudson's right yeah. for this role in Oz. Well, he called and said, Ernie, it's his eye. He said, remember we, we always talked about working together? I didn't remember that, but <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he said, I'm doing this, and, you know, and would you like to? And, of course, I'm always honored and flattered and appreciative whenever someone just say they want to work with me without me having to dance for the role. And so the fact that. You know, he uh, extended himself and invited me to come and play, and it turned out to be a wonderful experience. I mean, the cast, as you pointed out, for sure. I mean, Rita Moreno in the cast, and then we've had J.K. Simmons in that chair a couple times on the show. Um, And, you know, I didn't ask him this, so I'll ask you this. The last one on the celebrity, true or false. True or false that real altercations with extras on the set of Oz broke out occasionally. Is that true or false? Uh, That might be true. You know, okay. uh, I was the warden, so most people were so, on <laughs> good behavior when I was around. <laughs> <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. You know, part of my preparation for that character was I'd, yes. I'd go there, and I'd go there in, you know, T-shirts, jeans, whatever, and everybody was like, hey, Ernie, and everybody's friendly. And then I'd go in, and I would always shine my shoes, and I'd get the suit on, and when I walk out, nobody spoke to me. It was, a, And not that I asked that. It's just everybody kind of backed up and... Because uh, you were even the, the other warden? actors, yeah, I guess I don't know something. That's a method sort of acting, yeah. Changed and um, how about that? Uh, yeah, it was always always weird. They, they kept a kept a distance. Were the table reads just like really intense too, or you were just around there and you and 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 everybody looked at each other like, wow, this script is really out there. Yeah, Anything well, like we that? didn't we didn't get the table reads as much as we they would pass out the new script, and then you see people go into different corners, huh? And read because you didn't know what was coming because you didn't know who was going to die, who oh, yeah. was going to get molested. You didn't know <laughs> what was going to happen. So you just you finish it and you go, Phew, I survived that one. It's going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you know? got it. You, you live for another episode. For another episode. You know, which you can imagine the, I think the next to the last episode, I read it and I die. I'm like, what? Whoa, I can't die. I'm me. I'm like, how, do you, how does that happen? But uh, so, yeah, Tom Fontana and his surprises. 